All right, you guys, I want to welcome someone who is so far away right now, but I'm so excited we're able to talk with him. Vlad Kovartin, you are in Moscow right now, correct? Yes. Well, welcome. Back in my mother, motherland. Your motherland. Well, it's a good thing you know the language because you made a decision, I think, to not, you were in Moscow, I think you were going to come back to LA and then go back and you made the decision to stay, didn't you? I made the decision to stay. Yeah, I had a few projects going on in LA. Um, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was like, there, I might not be able to come back to Russia if I leave right now. And also, all those projects got postponed as well. So, I mean, everything kind of just happened perfectly, like in a sequence that uh, kind of just helped my schedule out. But again, it's just terrible. It's just terrible with everything that's been going on right now. So you were just telling me, because we're here in LA and we're at, I'm going to say about day 1920 when it comes to self-distancing. It's already 1920. Damn. Yeah. We, we're, I mean, we're in, <laughs> Um, different parts of the country are different, you know, different types of quarantine at this point, even. But you're saying that Russia is a few weeks behind the U.S. and that this wave is starting to hit Russia now. Yeah, they're saying that we're about two, three weeks behind. Um, I mean, we'll see what happens, but they're slowly shutting things down. They're kind of enforcing the law to, you know, for us to stay at home. Um, luckily, I have a pass, so I kind of, like, I'm able to to work in the city and just I'm still not really going anywhere I'm just I'm studio and home that's it and um yes yeah, it's, it's a crazy time to be alive <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> it is are, are people wearing like masks and gloves like they are in the U.S. yet yes yeah masks 100% masks gloves uh you know trying to just stay sanitized uh trying to use hand sanitizers always just being super super like ocd because you never know it's never know i'm trying to be super clean yes six feet apart <laughs> six feet apart yeah but it, yeah, it's like the thing is in russia right now we're not like they're still enforcing the laws obviously but just like in the u.s at first nobody was kind of like following them everyone was still doing their own thing and they're doing the same thing here. i don't know why like people just need to stay home not go anywhere, just get locked in for like 14 days and then help, you know, kind of help expedite the everything. Flatten the curve, exactly. Um, the curve. Yeah, we want to flatten it because it's just, I'm tired of being <laughs> in my house, honestly. <laughs> have you literally, been, you've been just like chilling at home nonstop? I have gone to the grocery store because that's important. We need food and I do take like a walk every day. I do a workout outside because I do need fresh air and I think if you're staying in school too much it gives you a little bit of anxiety um just being in the walls and I don't have a tiny place I have a, I have a decent sized place so it's me and my husband uh -huh. and two cats but it feels like it's getting smaller and smaller because we're going oh, to work and sleep and you know get everything done <laughs> yeah I mean I'm try like I don't know about like with Dancing with the Stars in Russia like I really hope that you know the show continues but if things really get back bad I don't I don't I don't know I really don't know what's gonna happen and as of right now I'm stuck here like there's no flights back to the right. US there's no flights anywhere everything's been canceled put on hold so I'm just I'm chilling here I'm stuck in my motherland that's good though I, I just talked to Petra Conti she's uh one of the principal dancers at LA Ballet um and her mother and her grandmother came in from Poland for vacation in LA and they got stuck during the shutdown so they're now in Los Angeles for two and a half months. So they kind of have the reverse situation of what you have. You know, you get wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn. You never know. Really you never, never know. know. Well, let's talk about Dancing with the Stars Russia because this is exciting. How did this opportunity come up for you? Um, they, were, they were looking for a boy uh, from the States, actually. And... Um, I had somebody that reached out to me and, and we kind of like, it just linked. It, it just per perfectly worked out. Um, and I kind of, you know, there was, there was obviously a few submissions. We had a few phone calls and um, yeah, it kind of just worked out perfectly. And they like, they like the fact that I'm, you know, kind of, I'm very Americanized. I am Russian. Like I was born in Russia uh, and I moved to Jersey when I was six years old. But my 
even though I'm Russian and my roots are Russian, I'm still very American. I have the culture, you know, my, my, my swag, my, my everything. I'm very American. So, um, but they really like that. They like the fact that I have that balance and that just mix and that fusion of American and Russian. And they thought it would be perfect for the show and they loved it. So right now I'm training with my partner. Uh, we're getting ready for week one, which is coming up this Sunday. Um, yeah, and I'm super exciting. It's just, it's like a very, very cool experience. A lot of, it's very stressful, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's a lot of responsibility because, you know, the whole, all of Russia is watching, especially now. Everyone is on lockdown. It's, you know, everyone is at home. You have nothing else to do but Netflix and chill. So it's like one of those shows that's gonna be on TV and everyone is, yeah. The, you know, hopefully all the ratings are guys. incredible. All eyes, yeah. And it's one of the first times that I've ever really had an opportunity like that where it's all on, you know, it's on us. And everything is in our hands. But it's exciting. It's really exciting. Okay. So I want you to tell us about your partner. Like, what's her name? What does she do in Russia? Um, yeah, she's, she's really, actually, she's actually right here. Yeah. She's going to say hi real quick. She's going to peek out. She doesn't really know much English. That's okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Uh, she's amazing. She's a, she's a very successful journalist. She has her own. Uh, um, few own shows, and I'm TV producer. I'm producing the TV programs, and I produce in my own programs. You can see it in the main federal channel in Russia and uh, in the YouTube. The same. Amazing. See that English? It's getting better now. Great. <laughs> yes. I want to know how are rehearsals going? How's her dancing? Uh, here, sir. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm never dancing. I'm never dancing. Never danced this before. Is, uh, it's hard for me. But Vlad is very professional. You know, um, uh, over a few days, uh, we have a show, studio show in the 5th April. And uh, we have a rumba. We have a rumba. Oh, Our first dance is a rumba. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, it's going to be great. I mean, listen, she's never danced before, but she's incredible. She works really hard. And she, you know, we have a lot of similar personalities when it comes to just, you know, if it's not working, like, we're going to do everything until it, it's perfect. And, you know, we're, we're working really hard. We're having a lot of fun. Um, I can't, I just, I can't wait. I really cannot wait to just come out on Sunday and perform. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a really, really cool dance. Can you tell me, what are, are there any major differences between Dancing with the Stars of Russia and the U.S. version? Um, I mean, there's a, yeah, I mean, the, the format is the same, right? So we have about 11 couples, I believe. Um, it's just different types of production levels, um, but ultimately it's, it's very similar. It's the same, you know, everybody's training, everyone's working hard and, and practicing a lot, and then um, the same, it's the same type of preparation, pretty much. Um, I mean, during the shows, I don't know yet. It depends on how everything goes on Sunday. It's going to be my first time experiencing it, so we'll see. That's going to be okay. But everything's going to be amazing. <laughs> no. He always told it for me. When I'm scary, he told me, don't worry, everything will be okay. <laughs> everything's going to be okay. That's, but yeah, that's this is exactly great. it. Uh, have you prepared her? Because this is a, not only a physical journey, it's a mental journey. You know, your, your mind has to be as strong as your mind. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's a lot. I mean, for me, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. Again, she's, she's so, like, everyone knows her in Russia. It's insane. Like, we were, we're going to photo shoot on the street, and then there were motorcycles that would just pass her and then literally turn around, <laughs> run back, trying to take pictures, like, <laughs> It's a huge responsibility, yeah. and uh, obviously, you know, I don't take it for granted. I'm just trying to do everything I can, and I'm kind of learning on my way as well. Like during this experience, I'm also learning a lot of things, learning a lot about my patients, learning a lot about uh, what it really takes to kind of just produce the best type of dancer. But she's again incredible. She works so hard. She's never danced before ever like learning how to walk again for yeah. the first time. Yeah. It's too hard, you know, it's too hard. 
It's a new <laughs> language. You're learning English and dance. <laughs> English and yeah. dance, yeah, literally. <laughs> so, it's true. She actually has an English tutor, and she asks me to help her sometimes <laughs> with her English homework. So it works. It works. I kind of came to Russia for two jobs. <laughs> English, two jobs. I say. You, how's your Russian? Your is your Russian? Is it getting sharper now that you're uh, in Moscow? It's getting much sharper, yeah. But I feel like I'm. I'm not. Yeah, my. I mean, it's. It's. I always had like a, a bit of an accent when I spoke in Russian, but it's slowly fading. It's definitely getting a lot better. It's really funny. But it's she <laughs>, laughs at me all the time, just as much as I laugh at her when she says anything in English. I love it. But you're in Russia, so you're the one with the accent. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm the one with the accent. I know. I know everyone is laughing at me. But it's, you know, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to improve it. And it's, you know, it's getting better. Slowly but surely. I want to know, did um, Max or Val give you any advice before you went over there? Um, we actually did not. We haven't really, uh, we haven't even spoke about it yet. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it as a surprise until it was announced, but I definitely want to reach out to them and, and see if they have any, um, any suggestions or any, like, anything that could help me out. But I kind of, like, in Dancing with the Stars in America, I got to really experience everybody's journeys and, and kind of learn a lot. So I really want to just, at one point, just understand myself I guess how to how to just like take everything in my hands and just kind of you know take care of my partner and and just also not forget that it is a journey for her it's not just you know it's not just a competition amongst everyone it's a, it's a competition and it's a journey for ourselves to better ourselves to better her physically mentally emotionally um so I'm kind of just you know trying to learn on my own it's like one of those things where you're just going in the water and learn how to swim by yourself <laughs> You're taking the training wheels off, you know, on the bike and off. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like all my life they they've really been like they they've always been one of my biggest idols and, and supporters and mentors, um, and it's it's one of those things where I, I just kind of want to do it my myself. You know what I mean? I want to do it on my own, and I want to just figure it out and uh, and see what happens. I want to know um, how many weeks is the show if you make it all the way to the end. How many weeks? Uh, this is a great question. I think, I mean, last episode should be end of May, 31st of May. Okay. Uh, I think it's about eight, eight weeks. weeks. Nine weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah eight, eight nine weeks. weeks. Yes, eight weeks. Eight events. <laughs> oh you gotta make it till the end. No. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Um, with everything postponed and canceled um, here in the U.S. right now, were you auditioning or planning on auditioning for So You Think You Can Dance? Yes, I actually submitted my, my stuff. So I should be, I mean, it depends on one, you know, how long the pandemic lasts. And um, once I get back, I definitely, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I'm really looking forward to going. I, I definitely want to go back on it. Yeah, the timing worked out too because the first round wound up just being video submissions now and they are just kind of on hold right now so they don't know when the next round is as of yet. So you have right. some, well, you have some room to breathe on that too, which is good. Yeah, it's excellent. Like I said, I just, I, I mean, it's terrible, but like I really got lucky with timing and, you know, when I left LA and I feel very privileged that I'm working. I feel very privileged that I'm out here and entertaining my, my country, my roots. And it's kind of like um, everything else was kind of put on hold, but then, I don't know, I, I guess I kind of lucked out. I got really lucky with, with everything that's going on right now. You certainly did. Um, I know that you've been working with Pro Dance LA and doing some online okay, I, uh, I this review, I want to say you bye-bye and I... Oh. Uh, we have to talk him together. Okay, you are really Bye, nice. Bye. Good Bye. luck on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun with her. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a good season for you. Um, I know you've been doing a lot of online classes with Pro Dance LA. Have you been able to sort of work the timing out? Because what, what's the difference? Like ten hours, I think, between here and like LA. Like ten hours. Yeah. 
10 hours. Um, yeah, I've been teaching a few lessons and we've been always trying to just coordinate. The hardest thing is just coordinating time. Um, but yeah, I have a few, you know, a few consistent classes that I teach every week and it's just been working out really great. I, I think it's a really cool thing that Pro Dance LA is offering this and, you know, still providing education and, and dancing and, you know, allowing people to still stay physically active and in dance form um but yeah it's i've been teaching i've been teaching and doing a lot of that as well because i miss everyone i miss everyone in la I, I miss all my students and you know shout out to pro dance la and everybody uh you know it's, they have an incredible team and everyone is really working hard to just maintain that consistency for everybody yeah, we're trying to keep things as normal as possible. I think that's what we're trying to do at this point. And, and that's good for the kids. Yeah. Um, Thanks. I was just going to say, I like your hair. Your hair looks really good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's like a new little style, but I like it. A little, you know, a little some, some. A little some, some for Sunday's premiere. I like it. Um, yeah. So I know that, you know, you've got a lot on your plate and everything else, and uh, the season is exciting, but do you have goals with your partner? Like, are you thinking, like, are you just thinking week to week with yourself? Or are you thinking, like, I can just go better to the finale? Say that again, the last, the last part? Yeah. Are you thinking, I, do you think you can get her to the finale? Oh, 100%. Yeah. The dancing-wise, 100%. Um, I think she has so much potential. And she is the, the funniest thing. It's like we were in the studio one day and the first time I met her, she, she was just sitting like this. And then I looked at her feet and she literally has the most beautiful ballet feet ever. Like she has an arc that is just like meant for a dancer. Like she has, the aesthetic is like perfect for a dancer. Um, so physically, like physically dance wise, She's gonna be phenomenal. Perfect. She's gonna be great. She looks great. We dance well. Uh, I think the hardest thing about dancing with the stars, and that's something that I've, you know, been able to see in previous seasons, it's it's the mentality of everything and being emotionally capable of just withstanding the competition. Very crazy schedule, and she is always constantly busy. But um, just being physically, you know, capable of doing everything and emotionally, just being prepared for that emotionally. Uh, I think it's going to be the biggest challenge because it's still week one and we're still, you know, we we're already slowly preparing for week two, but you know, she's starting to realize how hard this is and you know, dancing is hard. Like she loves it, but it's hard. It um, is hard. Dancing the stars, I always say is the hardest competition show on TV, maybe other than amazing race and survivor. Like I feel like those three are the hard ones. Um, right. Is she remembering choreography well? That's the other thing. Remembering the choreography is important. Yeah, I mean, remembering choreography. I mean, I just, I drill her. I drill her to, to the point where she's like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to go sit down. <laughs> um, but she, yeah, she, I don't, she doesn't really forget choreo. She's pretty good with remembering the choreos. It's just the coordination. And because she's also very tall, she's mm -hmm. literally maybe like, uh, a few inches shorter than me and I'm six one. So, and I know how hard it is, how hard it could be for tall people to kind of start learning how to dance and just like the long limbs and the arms and everything and just, and just coordinating everything. everything together. Yeah, and just putting, uh, piecing things together pretty much and, and using her center, uh, learning how to walk now with her, with her heels, especially in rumba, so everything's staying on the floor. Like those little details and nuances and just being really nitpicking on all those little details, essentially making her into a better dancer. But um, yeah, it's just those are the things that she's kind of like trying to overcome. But she is. She is slowly but surely and she's really trying hard. Like I said, she has a very incredible work ethic. No matter what like the situation is, if she's not feeling well, if she, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like the first day... Um, or the second day of our rehearsal, she had an event before and they created, and she was like promoting her new show and they had a fog machine on stage. And um, 
you know how once they bring out the fog it kind of fades and it still leaves like a small little layer of, of just like it was just like wet and i guess she came on stage and she literally busted her butt on the floor she slipped and twisted her ankle her ankles swell up uh immediately texted me saying hey listen what do i do yada 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 i'm like you need to not do anything stay home ice elevate your leg and she's like okay but i'm coming to rehearsal tomorrow no matter what. literally just that type of mentality and I, maybe it's that russian hardcore mentality which i show love must go on <laughs> there's so much go on but yeah there's nothing we're we're a force to be reckoned with so we're gonna make that fun. try to make that I love that. Well, I love to hear how excited you are about the season. Um, I love that you're able to do this huge opportunity considering everything that's going on. Um, do you have any big competition? Like, have you been looking at the other contestants at all? No, I'm not even, I'm not even worried about, I'm not even looking at them. That's good. Yeah. Same. I mean, I know everyone, yeah, it, I always, I guess, the less we think about that and, and other people, I think the better, the better our performance will be and our sanity as well. Always smart. It is mental and a physical game. Well, Vlad, I want to thank you so much. I'm so excited for you. And um, hopefully we can see clips on YouTube. I'm hoping. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 100%. There's going to be a bunch of them on YouTube. Um, and yeah, starting this Sunday. Excellent. All right, we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Be safe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back in the, spring, in the late spring. Thank you so much. Yeah, hopefully we'll all be out of our houses. <laughs> Fingers, yes, crossed. Thank you. Fingers crossed. Thank right, you.